Hi everybody, it's Joe Chaffee on this Saturday, and I'm I'm doing this video in conjunction with a uh, long range Joe Sardamas post, so you can follow up uh, more with that. And I just want to show you. We're going to first take you through the GFS um, short range, and this is the weather system for Sunday night that's going to pass just offshore. Some of the models are bringing back edge of the snow closer. Um, one of the Canadian models is bringing actually a little bit of light snow to southern New Jersey. Big deal. And then we may get a burst of snow Sunday night into Monday as this cold air mass just comes on in. But just keep an eye on what's going on up this up here because you have blocking early on. And as we move through time, you can see what happens. That block breaks down and it's replaced by a, a vortex uh, up uh, not too far from the North Pole. And as we move along, it just gets uh, stronger and stronger over time. And uh, we are going to see a pattern change now. We're losing um, the blocking, not that it did anybody any good as far as winter weather is concerned. And by the end of the period, you can see it's back to more of a cyclonic look across the Arctic regions. Although the difference between this and what we saw in December is that it's not nearly as deep or as intense as it was back then. It's a little bit of a weaker profile. I don't know that it makes that much of a difference because in the end, you have a big ridge in the east and a big ridge in the west with the trough in the middle. So the question is going to be going forward whether this is something temporary uh, to change into something else uh, or is this going to be the second half of what we saw from November and December. And that is, you know, it's been my experience that uh, sometimes with the patterns uh, when they settle in and it's some kind of long-term pattern you get um, a change about halfway through it runs for about six or seven or eight weeks or so and then it changes for a couple of weeks to give it time I guess to reload and then it goes back to the same original pattern although in a maybe a, a bit of an altered state or a different state uh, so I'm not sure if, if that's where we're headed but uh, we'll see in the meantime uh, here's the European, and you can see the same kind of idea happens here on the European. It actually, uh, in my view, kind of happens a little faster. So uh, by the time we get to January 26th, uh, we already have uh, some ridging in the east, some ridging here in the west, a bit of a trough in the middle, nothing strong. But again, the whole profile up through here um, changes completely. So uh, from that standpoint, uh, I think... Uh, we have to start thinking about the fact that uh, just because you have a pattern change doesn't mean it changes to something you like, and that's uh, what's been happening now because all the index is pointing to something happening um, in the east. Really, don't mean uh, don't mean a thing if um, it doesn't line up right. I'm just going to switch over to the Canadian RGEM model. I'm getting the new one now. See how far out it goes. See if it can tell us anything. Uh, and now, how sad is this, folks? When you have a, a, a low this intense that takes a track, uh, almost a perfect snowstorm track, and you don't have snow anywhere close to the coast. That's just how wrong the atmosphere is right now. And uh, you can see the RGM actually brings a little light snow close to, uh, brings it to coastal New Jersey and just about touching the south shore of Long Island tomorrow afternoon so if it shifts a little further to the west maybe it'll be a cheap thrill but uh, it's also not that cold yet the cold air is still up to the west and that's not going to be coming in until a later Sunday night and Monday so I think when that arrives you could wind up with a bit of a burst so have a good Saturday we'll update this a, a little bit more uh, later on and uh, enjoy the enjoy the holiday weekend